Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the second week in Thank God It's Friday. It's a new segment I started. Sorry about that, it's the child's monitor. It's a new segment I started last week. If you've seen the video I showed you around with where I lived as I went for a walk with my son. And today I'm doing it. For the first time ever where you get to see me i do apologize i am a bit but hey that's what people love about me anyway so i thought i'd go hello and um i hope everyone's doing well and i hope everyone's had a good week and so sorry my phone yeah, go away. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's had a good week. And um, I hope everyone's going to be having a fun weekend. I thought I'd um, do a quick disclaimer. If you hear any background noise, like a little humming, it's our dehumidifier as we are in a ground floor flat. And we do suffer with damp, unfortunately. So... We're doing what we can to try and, and keep as much of the moisture out as possible. And also you may hear my child scream, squeal, laugh, giggle, all the typical toddler stuff. And also you may hear his iPad, which he calls power. Long story <laughs> on that one. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just talk about how my week has gone. As you know, last week I did have a back problem, so I was in utter agony, struggled to move. And this week it's... Hmm, camera's very wobbly. And this week it's very, very similar, but... I'm moving a bit more so and it's easier to cope with as well so that's a bonus um and also on Monday my child was in nursery so I managed to get the entire flat tidy thank god for that and it only lasted about maybe three to five seconds when he got home then he completely trashed the living room. He's like, oh my hard work. Poof. But um yeah. Then um and also um we did decide to go and do a um a little bit of Halloween shopping as it's Halloween next Saturday. It's gonna be fun. But um, I'll speak to you a little bit about that in a, in a um, little while, about what we're planning on doing. Maybe you might do the same. Who knows? But um, Tuesday, little boy had an upset tummy, so it was dirty nappy after dirty nappy after dirty nappy. What? Oh, you never thought that much would come out of a three-year-old unbelievable wednesday and thursday normal routine with him a little bit of um play here and there using his flashcards to try and help him talking as he is behind on his talking but that's due to our own fault as we left him his dummy well left him with his dummy for too long we took it off of him because he decided to try and shove the whole thing in his mouth he said if you do it one more time no more two seconds after he was warned he done it again so the dummy's gone and his speech has improved dramatically but as you can probably hear but not by much but 
At the current moment, he is in the, oh. the bedroom with, as I'm doing this in the bedroom. He's got one of his bath toys that's, um, that blows bubbles and the other over his mouth, talking through it. And at the current moment, he's now looking at the washing basket and he's thinking, should I put it over my head or should I get in it? And over the head it is. Sorry, I'm looking at you guys and I can see him in the corner of my eye. And yeah, he's got it over his head. But yeah, Wednesday and Thursday, normal routine. Bit of play here. His iPad here and there. Working on his flashcards with him, helping with his talking. He absolutely loves them. Got them on Amazon for about four, five quid, something like that. Excellent, absolutely excellent. And today, oh, we went for a little walk again. Excuse me, sorry. We went for a little walk again to get more electric because it's getting colder, so we're going to have to put the radiators on for heating. So it's going to use up more electric. So we've done that and it's raining today don't get me wrong it is raining so we had our hoods on our coats on everything else walking past the park as you saw in my first thank god it's friday today he decided to have a 20 minute screaming tantrum all because i said no you cannot go into the park because it's wet and it's raining who would do the same i think a lot of parents would say sorry mate it's raining no park today a lot of parents would but no not him he wanted to go so i had to stand there for 20 minutes while he was screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming all because i said no to the park <laughs> But then, walking back, just as we were approaching a, um, a lift bridge as we were by the marina, they've got a little wooden lift bridge to help boats in and out. Just before we got to that bridge, there was a big massive puddle. What does he decide to go to? Jump in it and mud and dirt splashed all up his legs not that happy about it but hey a wash machine won't cure it and as a lot of people have said and i know my nan said this many 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 years ago when my auntie was a child a muddy dirty child is a happy child so I'm not saying anything about that but um yeah again on to Halloween now thinking about it all right because obviously with the terrible pandemic that's going on Halloween this year is going to be completely different last year was the first time my son went trick-or-treating and it was the first time for me, I'm 29, the first time for me to ever go trick or treating to experience it. Reason being is because when I was a kid, I couldn't do any of this stuff as my mum didn't like Halloween, she hated it. We didn't do anything for Halloween. All because she thought kids knocking on your doorstep asking for sweets is classed as begging and she didn't like that but for me if my child wants to go do it let them go do it but this year with the pandemic we're not going to be doing it door to door this idea came from my sis well i can't even say that my future sister-in-law what she's going to do with her youngest is do a an easter egg hunt 
in her house but instead of obviously it being like with easter eggs she's going to do it with sweets so i'll be like there you go there's your halloween there's your trick-or-treat go find and when she sat down i was like that is a brilliant idea and i suggested it to the other half whose sister it was whose idea this is and he said yeah why not let's do it so we're doing it we've got like a big massive bag of harry bow star mix which my father said i can't have but watch me <laughs> and we've got a couple of little chocolates here and there and also we've got some instead of just doing it all sweets and chocolate because he's not going to eat all the jelly sweets he's not into that just yet and we don't really want to be eating chocolate after chocolate after chocolate after chocolate so we've got a couple of goodies for him as well like we've got a bubble wand we've got a light up necklace we've got these flashing bat glasses for him we've got a book we've got quite a few little goodies for him and either this weekend or on actual halloween itself we're going to be carving our first pumpkin as a family and it's going to be my first pumpkin ever oh that's going to be different <laughs> but yeah um we've also got a couple of small little decorations we're going to be getting more this weekend hopefully like we've got a couple of like small little decorations and um i don't know if you follow me on instagram or not what i'll do is i'll put all the details down below to follow me on instagram and um i have well you can see on there that i'm doing um, a little bit of um, crafting some halloween stuff I haven't got them with me at the current moment because little hands he's already wrecked one so i've had to repair it and some of them are still wet as well but yeah i've got the basic loo rolls and three of them i've painted two of them green and one of them orange the two green i'm going to do a frankenstein and a witch and obviously orange pumpkin i've got two wrapped up in black duct tape one of them's a bat and one of them's a cat i'm rhyming very fun and i am a poet ish <laughs> and um and i've got two whites i've done one ghost and one mummy the bat is just missing its wings the cat i'm not sure if i should do a tail or not debating but the mummy and the ghost all i've done is use white crepe paper wrap it around and a little bit of ripped up a bit of white crepe and just stuck it on randomly to make it look like some of the bandages have fallen off the mummy so yeah we've got a couple of them as we don't want to make it too scary as he's only a little kid so nothing too scary all fun make it enjoyable for him and um what else oh um yeah we're going to be looking at um oh, oh we've got some lights so um put up battery operated and um we're going downtown this weekend maybe and we're going into a shop in the uk that we call poundland and yes pretty much everything is a pound if not maybe just a little bit more but everything is from a pound and um we're going to be getting some things in there as i've seen like a little um decorative light that 
we could just put on the radiator and have that like twinkling and they've got um like a trick or treat like garland maybe get a couple of things like that they've also got well this is what i've seen on the website if they've got them in store i don't know they've also got these torches where you've got um stencils that's the word stencils you've got stencils in them and you shine them and obviously what's on the stencil shines through on the torch i thought brilliant absolutely brilliant he would love that but it's depending if they got them in stock mm. but yeah that's going to be on halloween um i thought i might as well talk a little bit about um my diamond painting as well at the current moment i am doing two as you have seen maybe um i'm still doing the flying scotsman for my dad i've only got eight sections left to do on that so i cannot wait until that one's done it's doing my head in and i'm doing a um a diamond art club one by mark devon balloons because strictly is back yay so that's going to be absolutely fun as well um but yeah we also said last week that once i've done the flying scotsman i might be all i'm thinking about doing starry night my plans since then have changed i will be sticking with balloons getting that one done as obviously with strictly it's only going to be on for about maybe 10 weeks and i'm only doing it on a saturday and a sunday during the show itself i'm not going to get much of that done because the shows are like hour and a half two hours long i'm not going to get much of that done by then am i no so I've, i'm thinking once i'm done with flying scotsman for my dad i'm going to stick with balloons and get that one finished and then i'm definitely going to be doing starry night but yeah speaking of diamond art club i am waiting for three orders from them one i actually thought i would have already had because it was the it is i should say not was it is the butterfly um breast cancer awareness ribbon and as you can see i am wearing my race for life top sorry <laughs> i am wearing my race for life top today as obviously race for life is a um a charity run to help raise funds for cancer research and as i have said in the unbagging for the um, race for life medals and my um, review on the damn art club breast cancer awareness ribbon the first one the one with nine colors that um both me and my other half we both lost our mums to breast cancer so as, as soon as i saw this one i was like it is a must and with it still just being in october if you go and order that diamond painting i'll put a link down below all proceeds for the entire month of october will go towards a breast cancer awareness charity i must say that because it's brilliant let's just be cancer altogether because it's absolutely horrible and the child just came back in with the washing basket so you may see him you may not you may hear a couple of little bangs he's actually decided to get my um bra to use as a hat hey he's a three-year-old but yeah um i thought i was going to get that one as soon as it was released because i did pre-order it 
but I found out because I put it on a pre-order along with another pre-order sorry decided to roll on me so sorry about that but since I decided to put it with another pre-order I won't get that one until the pre-order well the second pre-order has arrived and that one's not coming until early November I believe let me just do a quick check yeah early November so I've got obviously the butterfly breast cancer awareness ribbon coming and along with that one I am getting the fairy Yay! by Mandy Manzano and as you can probably tell by my excitement it is the Tinkerbell one if you know me you will know how crazy I am about Tinkerbell absolutely crazy I've actually got a corner cabinet just of Tinkerbell merchandise like dolls figurines anything to do with Tinkerbell is in that cabinet it is unbelievable so yeah I've got them coming in November and the one that should have been released mid October but obviously there's a slight delay obviously because it's now near the end of October and it's still not been released but I am waiting for the Daughter of Honor which is also by Mandy Manzano and um, when that one arrives sorry I'm just watching my child because he's playing with my medals yeah um, when that one arrives I'm going to do a little bit more of a discussion to what I'm going to be doing with that one so stay tuned for that um oh what else was i gonna say oh um yeah i'm not going to be doing any of my diamond painting today because i will be playing on the switch today quite a bit today i will be doing on that because i will be playing i believe it is Yep, yeah, Pokemon Shield. Sorry, I've got both of them, but I couldn't remember what one was what. <laughs> I will be playing Pokemon Shield as I do have the expansion pass. So obviously I've done the Isle of Armor. Armor? The Isle of Armor. Get right. And today it's the 23rd. So the second expansion pass, the new release, is out today. Crown Tundra. Woo! So yeah, I'm going to be having fun getting as much as that done as possible today and let's see if I can catch them all even though I probably will be getting maybe a couple of texts and phone calls from my nephew shout out to you mate you know who you are Connor there you go just said your name <laughs> yeah my nephew Connor absolutely loves Pokemon it was me who actually got him to ask his dad, who was my brother, the ugly one. Love you. <laughs> no, only joke. <laughs> I do love him, but he's not the ugly one. But yeah. I spoke to my nephew about it, saying, I've got it, you're going to get all this, this and this. And he finally persuaded his dad to get it. So now he's got the expansion pass. So... I'm more than likely going to be getting texts and phone calls throughout the day saying can you help me shall we do this shall we do this so yeah I'll be getting that from him today as well maybe possibly but um yeah I'll be playing a bit of Pokemon today as I was about six seven years old when Pokemon first 
ever came out. So I have been a fan of Pokemon since Gen 1, since that very first episode. That very first. But, um... Yeah, um... I think that's all I've got to say today on my second week of um thank god it's friday so um i'm going to end this video here and i will see you all in my next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content let me know how i'm getting on as this is all still quite new to me i want to obviously improve i want to give out better stuff all that so please let me know and don't forget to press the next bell um, don't forget sorry to press the bell icon for when i release my new video well next video sorry i've been going on for about 26 minutes and i'm losing my train of thought wow yeah, so press the bell icon for to be notified for when I have uploaded my next video. And um, I will see you all for either a review or an unboxing. Or I might do a quick video with my Halloween toilet rolls when they're all fully finished and together you never know as i will put up pretty much anything on this channel at the current moment so and also i might oh next month as well i should say i will be getting a couple of medals from medal mad again so be prepared for a couple of unbaggings as well and um i will see you in my next video thank you bye